Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to your cardio core interval workout. Today I'm gonna go two rounds of five groups of work that have two exercises in them. So what we'll do is we'll go back to back with a kind of cardio component into a core component. I am going to use a dumbbell for my core. Um, you don't have to, you can use nothing at all. You can just go through the movements and I'm gonna use my board for the cardio portion of it. If you don't have a board, you can do everything on the floor. So I will show you things that I do on the board on the floor as well. So we, we can go with the flow, okay? Uh, again, we're probably gonna be going for about 30 minutes and um, we'll warm it up. We will have the music in the background. Don't worry about the beat. This is going at your own tempo, so challenge yourself. This is where, when we're on the board or we're on the floor, we wanna pick up the tempo a little bit more and work a little bit you know, quicker, a little more fast, uh, fast pace, but you wanna make sure you feel like your footing is secure, okay? Because we're gonna be going side to side, forward and back, which is really good for our brain as we age. Um, we want to keep those feet sharp and that brain sharp together. Remember, we want to be able to catch ourselves if we're about to fall so we don't fall and fracture anything. And we want to keep those muscles nice and strong so they buffer our fall, right? Okay, um, so I'm going to probably just work with my eight pound. I'm actually going to put them right over here uh, just so I don't get squashed on them. Um, and we're gonna warm it up, okay? So we're just going to start off with our feet about shoulder width apart. Always remember, set yourself up for success because you are so worth it, okay guys? So zip up that pelvic floor, pull the ribs towards the hips, squeeze those glutes, okay? And we're just gonna start with some shoulder rolls. So just give me some big shoulder rolls. Awesome, good job guys. Let's go five more, five, four, three, two, and then one more to go, and then we're gonna alternate rolls. So I probably didn't say, but we're gonna do 45 seconds of each exercise, the core and the cardio portion, okay? And then we're gonna take a big breath through the nose. Let's tuck those elbows in the back pocket. Open up the chest. Exhale into forward fold, and we'll ragdoll up again, nice and easy, and then just roll out those shoulders again, nice and gentle. We're gonna do that a couple of times, okay? So let's take a big breath up again. Tuck those elbows into the back pocket. Exhale, forward fold. Ragdoll up one vertebra at a time, nice and easy, roll out those shoulders. Awesome, let's do that two more times, guys. Big breath up. Exhale, the elbows in the back pocket. Exhale, forward fold, and then ragdoll up one vertebra at a time again and roll out the shoulders last time. We'll do this one more time, okay? I said last time I lied. One more time. And then exhale, elbows in the back pocket. Exhale, forward fold, and then roll up one vertebra at a time. Nice and easy, roll those shoulders out. Awesome. Then just give me those arms, cross them in front. Nice and gentle. That's it. Just big crosses in front. And just let those arms go to the side. Just let them slide to side, get a little bit of rotation through that trunk as you move side to side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Then just give me a little reach out, a little reach out. Awesome. Just get everything flowing here. Then we'll do a big reach up. Awesome. Four more, three, two, then give me some big circles right here. Big circles. You got it. Four, three, two, and then let those arms float. That's it, last four. Four, now I'm gonna break it down, just give me four of each. Here we go. Reach it out, four. Reach it up for four. Let the arms float to the side for four. Then give me a big circle right here. Awesome. Then kick that butt. Give me a little kick. Slow arms. You got it. Let's go eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me a single, single, double. Single, single. Give me a double hit. 
single, single, and a double. Just open up those quads, single, single, and a double. Awesome. Let's go four more like that. Single, single, double. Perfect. Two more, I'm gonna face this way because I'm gonna use my board. And we're gonna take it down. We'll do our little plank position. So we'll take a big breath up, take it down, step out, step out, back in. Give me that little bit of a squat action. Awesome. Same thing. Step it out, push the ground away, zip up the core. Give me that squat again. Perfect, guys. So back down, step out, zip up the core. Back in. Let's go three more of those. Nice and easy. I'm gonna switch my leg. So if you're going out on one side, switch out, alternate, or you can switch with me right now. Perfect. Last two. Beautiful. Hanging in there. Setting up that core here. Awesome, guys. And then one more time. And then I'm gonna take you guys back down. So take it back down, stay into that plank position. Bring that foot in, open up nice and light through that T-spine. Relax down, I'm gonna open up to the other side. So really push the ground away, squeeze all those muscles. Take it back down, take yourself into a plank. You can drop to your knees if you want. Shoulder tap it. Three and four. Zip it up. Other side comes around. Open up to the side. Bring it back down. Open up to the other side. Awesome. Now you can be on the floor for this, that's for sure. And then back here, four shoulder taps. I always like to have this to elevate to show people you can elevate on a couch or a countertop um, or a table wherever you want to bring yourself up or down. So it really depends on where you are with your mobility. That's it. And your stability as I weevil here. <laughs> Switch it out, shoulder tap at four, three, two. Remember you can drop to the knees, other side, bring it in, open it up. Release down one more time, open it up. Release down. And then right here, shoulder tap, two, push the ground away, tuck those lats into your back pocket. Press that ground away and pull the shoulders away from the ears. And again, zipping everything up, step it back in, hands in the thighs, just roll like a cat, flat back down. Roll like a cat, flat back down. Let's go two more like that, rolling, flat back. One more time, rolling, flat back, then ragdoll up and give me some knee taps up. Awesome, guys. You got it. Getting ready, almost there. Ready to have some fun. Let's go last four knees. Four, three, two. Then we're gonna travel to each side, nice and easy. We'll go arms to the side, just to kind of get all those movement patterns in that we're gonna use, okay? Awesome. Let's just go four more. Four, three, two, last one. Just circle out the wrists. Awesome, other way. You got it. And then give it a march. Okay guys, we are ready to put 45 seconds on the clock for each one. So I'm gonna start off with my eight pound dumbbell. So if you, are not comfortable with a quarter get up, which I'm gonna show you what it is. We're gonna come onto one knee, all right? Make sure that knee, if you have a mat or you're on your carpet, um, your knee is happy, all right? So we're in a half kneeling position. We're gonna zip up that core, pull those shoulders away, and we're gonna keep that weight. I always do this in the wrong hand, so I have to focus. Keeping the arm up, same thing. If you don't wanna use the weight, you do not have to use the weight. You want to keep the wrist nice and strong. Again, straighten, straighten that elbow, zip up that core. We are going to slowly look down. And we're going to extend up. So we're looking up towards the weight. So this is what we call a quarter get up. So keeping, zipping up that core, 
Again, if you don't feel comfortable with any weight, just put it down. We're gonna go for 45 seconds each side. Are you ready? Here we go. So slow down, bring that back up. So it's a good controlled movement. You wanna look up towards that weight, tapping that hand to the ground and keeping that elbow as straight as possible. Awesome, guys. You got it. That's it, team. Okay, we've got 15 seconds left here. Take it at your own pace. Zip up that core. Nice and solid through that body. Last one. Beautiful. So we want to make sure we feel really stable within that shoulder joint. Because remember, the shoulder is part of your core. We want it to be strong and stable. That's why if you don't feel comfortable with that weight, put it down. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. 45 seconds on the clock. So you're bending in. Nice and gentle, keeping that weight up. Almost there. We got about 15 seconds to go, team. Keeping that arm nice and straight, zip up that core. Okay, let's get two more in there. And last one. Beautiful. We're gonna put that weight down and we are gonna move in towards the board. I'm gonna just move my weight over here. So as you get yourself organized, I will show you. We're gonna go over, over into a forward lunge. 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 Whichever one, floor or board. Are you ready? Okay, 45 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Nice and solid. That's it. You can add that little hop, or you can stay just nice and slow on that board so you can take out the power wherever you're comfortable. Awesome, you guys, 20 seconds to go. Awesome. Okay, last 10 seconds. Almost there. Last one right here. Awesome, you guys. Beautiful. Going into the second group of exercises. So we're gonna pick up that weight again. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier this time. We're gonna go into a half kneeling position again. We're gonna take that weight, and we're gonna throw it over the shoulder and slow down towards the hip. So really zipping up the core, stacking those lats in the back pocket, squeezing all of the muscles, okay? Are you ready? 45 seconds, here we go. Over, bring it back down. Over, slow down. So drive it over that shoulder. You got it, remember to breathe. We've got 45 seconds each side. Remember, you're gonna take it at your pace. You are awesome. Yes, you are. It's all about moving in all the planes that we use throughout our daily activities. Last 10 seconds, guys. Stay nice and strong. Okay, last one. Awesome. Switching knees. Same thing, get yourself all set up. So you wanna make sure, squeeze those glutes, keep that core strong, pull those lats into your back pocket. Are you ready? 45, over. Awesome, you guys. Keeping it strong. You are strong. You are amazing, guys. Oh yeah, 15 seconds to go. Oh, 
and get two more in there. Last one. Putting that weight back down, coming back up. Awesome job, team. Now I'm gonna go into a burpee. I'll give you lots of options for this. First option is jumping out in into a squat position. You actually, you can step it also and squat it. Here's your other option. Out, in, power up. Okay, we've got 45 seconds. I want you to pick what's comfortable for you. Are you ready? 45 seconds on the clock. So out, if you're jumping, nice and low. If you're not, you're with me right here, okay? Go where you're comfortable. Option again, stepping, stepping, bringing it in. Wherever it feels good for you. You can also step off instead of jump off, okay? 15 seconds, wherever you're comfortable. This one, get the heart rate up. Awesome. Last one. And bring it back up. Whew. Awesome job, guys. Taking a breath. We're gonna move on to our plank pushes. So I'm gonna go with my eight pound because this does not wanna slide on this floor very well. So we're gonna go into a plank position. So there are many options here. You can stay on all fours, pushing it back and forth. You can go into a half kneeling, pushing it in and out. You can go into a full plank, okay? So we have 45 seconds each side, zip up the core. You can go between knees and onto the toes. Are you ready? Zip it up, here we go. So I'm gonna go 45 seconds for the whole thing. So I will tell you to switch halfway through that 45 seconds. Remember your options. That's it. This floor sticks so it makes it a little more challenging. That's it. And then we're gonna switch sides, guys. And we're gonna push, push, push. Awesome. Push the ground away. Try not to sink into that shoulder blade. Let's go. A few more of those. Last one. That was 45 seconds total. Good job, guys. Coming back up. Stepping in, placing that weight back over. Awesome work. Going into the next exercise. So we're gonna go, <coughs> excuse me, in to our little hop overs. So options are just going directly over the board or we can use the hands. So we're gonna place our hands. We're gonna jump over the board. If you're not comfortable, I just want you to go over, over, or on the floor, okay? Or else you can step it, step it. Are you ready? We've got 45 seconds on the clock. On your mark, get set, go. Here we go. 45 seconds, so you can take it slow, or you can take it fast. You can change it out. You can single it. That's it. You can take it over wherever you are comfortable, okay? Let's go for 15 more seconds. So you really want to push the ground away. Awesome, you guys. That's it. Five seconds to go. Last two. Last one. Dismount. Awesome job. Way to go, guys. Okay. Take a big breath. We're gonna pick up that weight again. I'm gonna go with my 12 pound this time. And we are going to go into a bear position. All right? So if you don't wanna be off your knees, just stay in that tabletop position and you can slide it through. You can do two on the ground and two slide throughs up, or you can stay down or completely stay up. So when you're ready, we're pushing the ground away, pull those lats into the back pocket and zip up that core. We're hovering, we're gonna pull through. We've got 45 seconds. That's it, guys. I'm sweating. It's hot out here today. 
we are getting some nice weather, which is a beautiful thing. So same thing, option is you can go two down, two up if you want, wherever you feel good. Okay, last 15 seconds. Zipping up that core, push the ground away. Awesome, you guys. Last one. Walk yourself back up. Bring it up, shake it out. Just gonna put my weight over here again. We're gonna set ourselves up into open hips. So we're gonna bring ourselves into a plank position. We're gonna open, open. Option is to step it, okay? I gotta come up a little higher. We're gonna crash into the wall. So zipping up that core, push the ground away. Remember, pull those back muscles into your back pocket. Here we go, guys. That's it, 45 seconds. So you can work as fast as you want, or you can take out the power completely and just step it around. That's it. Beautiful, guys. Fifteen seconds to go. Same thing, wherever you are happy. Last five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Whew. That will get you warm. Awesome job, guys. Alrighty, last group of exercises. We're gonna go into a dead bug. So I'm, I'm gonna use my 12 for this. I'm gonna take it down onto our backs now. I'm gonna take my mic out so I don't turn you off. Okay, alrighty guys. So we're gonna take it in to a dead bug position. I'll give you lots of options. Zipping that belly button in. We're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, and we're just gonna hold that weight right there. Option is dropping the heel, just staying with the leg, or just staying with the arm, okay? So zip that pelvic floor up when you're ready. Here we go. We're gonna do 45 seconds on each side of these ones, okay? So really good focus on zipping up that core. Keep it slow and controlled. And we wanna make sure those knees stay about 90 degrees so we don't take away from those core muscles. We don't get those hip flexors involved so much. That's it, guys. Awesome work. Okay, five seconds to go. And then we're gonna switch sides. Whew. The last one. Switch sides, remember, really make sure that shoulder blade is into the ground, glued into the ground, that wrist is nice and strong. Are you ready? Zip up that core. You don't wanna feel like your back is coming off the ground. That's it, guys. Take your time, extend. Pull those core muscles in. So zip up that pelvic floor. Oh yes, the sweat, the sweat is rolling in my eyeballs here. Good. Last five seconds, hanging in there. Let's get two more in there. And last one, beautiful. Sliding that weight down, rocking yourself up and slowly coming off that floor, guys. So nice and gentle. There's a lot of getting on and off the floor today, which is really good for us to practice as we get older. We wanna be able to run after those, our grandchildren. We wanna be able to get on the floor and play with them. So important. I left the body print. Okay. <laughs> Next exercise is mountain climbers. How we love them. So all, all of these exercises are very core related, even though we're getting our heart rates up with these ones, which is great, good combination. Zip up the core, 45 seconds, you can go slow or fast, 
Go at your own pace. I will give you options. Are you ready? Here we go. So you can take it at a quicker tempo, or you can go slow, wherever you feel challenged, okay? Long spine, pull the shoulders away from the ears and push the ground away. Really screw those hands into the ground. That's it, wherever you are happy. You can even just tap the toe, whatever feels good for you. 15 seconds to go, guys. That's it. I always find mountain climbers a challenging exercise. Five seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, bring it up, shake it out. Whew. Grab some water, guys. Round one is down. I'm just gonna shift my board up a little bit because I'm gonna crash into that wall. Awesome. So just give it a big shake out. And then we're gonna go round, round two. Get right back into it. We're gonna go back to that half get up. I'm gonna get my eight pound weight. I'm gonna set myself up. You guys have another 20 seconds to breathe. But when you're ready, Let's take it back down onto the one knee. Again, zipping up that core. And we are gonna go down to the side. So same thing. Long, strong arm. Shoulders really packed down. Wrist is nice and strong. Are you ready? Here we go, round two, guys. We got this together. Here we go. 45 seconds each arm. Zip up that core. This is where you wanna take your time. Do not rush yourself. Take your time looking up towards that arm. Awesome. Nice strong core. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left on this side. Keep it nice and strong. Really keep that shoulder packed in, last one. Awesome, and then we'll switch sides. Beautiful. Same thing, stack that pack, pack that shoulder in there. And on your mark, get set, 45 seconds. Beautiful. Take your time. Fifteen seconds left in the bucket. Oh yes. One more, guys. Oh, awesome. Throw that weight aside where you're not gonna step on it, okay? So same thing. We're going over the board into the lunge. You can be on the floor with it. We've got 45 seconds on the clock. Are we ready? Here we go. A little forward lunge, power over, forward lunge, power over, forward lunge. That's it, guys. Option again, over, over. So wherever you are happy, all right? Good power through. Beautiful. Okay, 15 seconds left. Give it all you got. Remember, you can have a higher step, you can have a lower step than me. Whatever's more comfortable. We're gonna get two more in there, guys. Two more from here. Then we can be even. Beautiful. Awesome job, guys. Shake it out. Whew. Going back to our slide forwards. Or no, we're gonna go actually over the shoulder. I'm gonna switch weights. So we're still on one knee. We're taking it down. We're gonna do our rotation. So remember, zip everything up. Pull those lats into the back pocket. Ribs are nice and flat. Okay, here we go. Zipping her. Are you ready? 45 seconds. Throw over. 
throw over, slower on the way down, drive, drive, squeeze all of those muscles in your body. We are in a unilateral position, so one foot in front of the other makes it way more challenging on our core and our balance, our stability, we're doing everything. 10 more seconds, guys. Whew, I'm sweaty. That's it. Let's get one more in there. And we're switching sides. Awesome job, team. So remember, set yourself up strong. Think of everything. Zip it up, squeeze out all those muscles. Are you ready? Here we go. So just like you're throwing it over your shoulder. Throw it over your shoulder, slow on the way down, squeeze. That's it, team. Okay, we've got 15 seconds to go. Awesome. Get two more in there. One more in there. We did it. Drive that weight, bring yourself back up. Throw that weight to the side where you're not gonna crash. And then we're gonna go back into that burpee. So remember, you can step out, do the squat. You can step out, jump in, jump up. I'll give you all the options. We've got 45 seconds on the clock. Are you ready? Here we go. It's so going out. Nice and light and low option. You can do your jumping, but you can just keep your squat right here. You can also step out, step out, step in, and do your squat, whatever works. I want you to feel like you are in control and it feels good for you. Awesome, you guys. We can get one more in there, guys. One more. Awesome. Whew. That'll get you every time. Back to the weight. We're gonna do our plank position. So remember, whether you're in a tabletop position, on your knees, to that half plank, or into a full plank with a slide. This one is full 45. I'll switch halfway through the time, okay? So we're gonna zip up the core. Push the ground away, screw your hands into the ground. Pull those lats into the back pocket. Okay, are you ready? Here we go, 45 seconds. Oh, I think I used the eight last time. It slides a little bit better than the 12. That's it. You have to have a, you, carpet works better. You work a little more, you're, you're more challenged when you're on a rougher floor, which I guess sometimes is a good thing. and then switch sides. Remember your options. You can bring it down or else you can bring it right into that tabletop position. Keep that core strong. Remember, push the shoulder out. We've got 10 seconds, guys. Keep those hips nice and square. Don't let them tilt or move. Last one. Beautiful. Picking that weight up, awesome. Throw that weight to the side. Whew, I am sweating like crazy. Okay guys, go into our little popovers. So we're on our hands. Remember, if you don't want it, I just want you to stay side to side on the board or power here, okay? So wherever you're comfortable. And you, if you wanna try it, you can always just do that little hop over. Okay guys, 45 seconds. Push the ground away, zip up that core. Here we go. Remember, you can take it slow. You can work faster. And then you can go slow again. You can take it single. 
Same thing, you can go over wherever you are happy, okay? Just 10 more seconds, guys. Last four, three, two, dismount. Awesome job, guys. Whew. Take a breath. Okay, we're gonna go into our bear position. So again, I'm gonna pick up my 12. Go where you're comfortable with your resistance. Remember, you don't have to use any resistance at all. You can just hover and lower if you don't wanna use that resistance. So again, setting yourself up for success. If you wanna stay on your knees or go two and two, go for it. 45 seconds, guys. Here we go. So we're gonna pull it to the side, zip it up, zip it up, zip it up. Awesome. Hanging in there. Remember, you can do two of each, two down and two up. Push the ground away. Screw in those hands to the floor. Awesome, you guys. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Let's go two more. Last one. Walk it back up. Bring yourself back up. Awesome job, team. Putting that weight aside. Whew. And then we're gonna take it back to the open hips. And then we've got two more exercises, guys. So remember, open hip, you can elevate yourself as high as you want. You put yourself on a chair. Go at your own pace. You don't have to jump with this. So again, same thing. Push the ground away, zip up the core. Get those lats tucked in there. Are you ready? 45 seconds. So same thing. Option is jumping or just stepping through into it. Push that ground away. You can go fast or slow. You can go a couple fast, then you can slow it right down. Go where you're happy and take the jump right out of it. Push the ground away. Just really think that you're not dropping through those shoulder blades. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back up. Whew. Awesome job, guys. My heart rate is up there. Okay, we've got two more exercises. Then we are done. So we're gonna grab one dumbbell again, whatever you wanna work challenge-wise, and we're gonna go into the dead bugs. So we're gonna take it back onto the floor. Just gonna take my mic out again. Don't wanna turn you guys off. All right. Okay, guys, we're gonna take it back down. Set ourselves up. This one, we have 45 seconds each. I'm gonna shift myself back a bit. So zip up that core. Remember your options. Your option is you can just go one leg out. You can just drop the heel. You can just use the arm. Or you can do a heel drop and an arm. And then you can do the extension wherever the, you guys are comfortable. Are you ready? 45 seconds. Zip up that core, focus on the breath. Don't hold your breath, keep this knee at a nice 90 degree. Remember your option. Option here, option here. Wherever you are happy, okay? Have that control, remember what this shoulder is doing. It's packed into the ground. Your arm is strong and steady. Your wrist is nice and stable. And you wanna keep the shoulder, elbow, and wrists in line here. Okay, last two. One more to go. And then we're gonna switch sides. Awesome job, guys. And here we go. Sip up that core. So options again, dropping the heel, just the heel or just the arm zip that core up if you're not comfortable with the weight you can get rid of the weight too like i said at the beginning if you don't want to use any weight you don't have to that's it okay 15 seconds to go guys keep that 
back in control. So we wanna make sure it's right towards the floor. Awesome, last five seconds. Let's get two more in there. One more in there. Awesome, you guys. Drop that down, tuck that weight to the side, and we're going back to the mountain climbers. Last thing, we got this. As I said, mountain climbers aren't my favorite, but we like to do things that we don't always like. It keeps us strong. Are you ready? Okay, 45 seconds on the clock. Remember, push the ground away, screw those hands in, pull the lats into the back pocket, zip up that core, keep those hips nice and still. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, 45 seconds, guys. So remember, you can work it fast, you can work it slow, you can just tap the toe, go. You can elevate yourself even higher, whatever feels good for you, okay? That's it, guys. We are almost there. 15 seconds to go. Keep everything strong. And remember you're having fun. Oh yes, always having fun. Five, four, three, two, one. We did it. Whew. Beautiful job, guys. Just give me a little step touch. I just wanna make sure I'm not gonna step on anything here. <laughs> That's it. Whew. Good work in it. Nice and easy. I just want you to give me a little knee tap. Two more knees. And then give me a step touch again. Nice and gentle. Let's just bring that little heart rate down. That was awesome. I'm telling you, you can tell the temperature is changing here. I'm sweating like crazy. Nice and easy. Just give me a little kick of the bum. And then I just want you to let the arms kind of sway side to side. Awesome. Let's just go 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and drop the feet. Just let the arms go. Nice rotation through that mid spine. Oh yes. Awesome work team. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll out those shoulders. Beautiful. Take a big breath, hinge forward and switch sides. Just a little, again, dynamic hamstring stretches. And then we're gonna hold on the other side. So let's hold. Really long spine, eyes are down. Just lift that bum up. So again, nice long spine. And we'll center it and we'll just roll one vertebra at a time, nice and gentle. We'll take those hands behind the back. We'll open up through the chest and through those abdominals. Nice and gentle. One more big breath. Bring it back up. Roll out those shoulders. And then we're going to take that other leg forward. Nice and gentle. Nice little hamstring stretch since we were jumping over the board. Awesome. And put it in and roll like a cat. And give me a flat back again one more time. Roll like a cat and then flat back and then bring it up. Take a big breath this time. Exhale the hands behind the back this time and then open up the chest, pull the shoulders around the spine. Again, pressing that pelvis forward slightly. Awesome, you guys. And then bringing it back to the center. Take one more big breath. Exhale into forward fold, holding those elbows just releasing through the lower back and those hamstrings, nice and gentle. And then we're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time again. Just roll out those shoulders. Let's just cross one foot, bring those arms around, pull the shoulders away from the ears. Just close those eyes and just take a big breath here. And then one more big breath, exhale, and one more time and raveling the other way. Pull those shoulders away from the ears and just close those eyes. And 
then exhale, re-ravel. Take a big breath through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Open up, drop the shoulders, take the head to the side. And just pulling those shoulders away from the ears. Awesome. And then exhale to the other side. And then bring it back to the center and one more big breath through the nose. Exhale through your nose or mouth. And then shake out those shoulders and arms. Awesome job, guys. High five, high 10, high as many as I can to you guys. You are awesome. I love you. Give me those thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe. I love you guys. I'm here for you. Content, tell me if you want specific things that I'm not giving you. I would love to do what you guys would like to see. So remember to throw me a comment down there. Anyways, guys, I love you. Have an awesome night. And yes, I will see you in the next one. Oh yeah.